All right, so one more word problem here using some uh, trig identity. So suppose we've got a point that moves around a circle given by x squared plus y squared equals 25. At any point on the circle, um, we're gonna, uh, our point x, y is going to determine an angle theta. And the points uh, x comma y, negative x comma y, negative x comma 0, and x comma 0 are going to give a rectangle. So, so here's our point x, y on the rectangle. Um, or excuse me, on the circle. Um, it's also going to be a corner of the rectangle. So here's x, y. Well, that would make this negative x, comma, y. If we drop that down, this would be the point negative x, zero, and x, comma, zero. What we want to do is we're going to find an expression that uses only the variable theta uh, to represent this shaded area. So we just want to find this shaded area in blue, sort of inside the circle, but outside the... the um, rectangle. Alright, so I've done a couple things. One thing, I, you know, our equation is x squared plus y squared equals 25. We can write 25 simply as 5 squared, and that means that our radius of our circle is going to be 5. So to me, the shaded area, well, it's just going to be the um, area of the circle. Uh, and really, we should take uh, one half of that, right? Because we're not getting the area of the entire circle. Uh, the top part will just be one half of the area of a circle. And then we'll have to subtract away the area of the rectangle. All right, well, the area of a circle is easy. That's just pi times the radius uh, squared. But again, we said our radius is 5. So uh, the top half of the circle will simply have area of 1 half times pi times 5 squared minus the area of the rectangle. Okay, so this is where we're going to have to use our, our theta. So if you think about uh, this little triangle that's made actually by our rectangle, so let me sketch that out again. So there's our angle theta. Again, if we've gone over x units, I could say that this is uh, simply going to have a value of length x. We've gone up to a height of y. Now, again, this is in the center of the circle, and it touches uh, you know, the circle. So this hypotenuse of our triangle is just going to be the radius, and that's going to have length 5. Well, OK, so the area of the rectangle, um, the area of the rectangle is just going to be its width times its height. If we go over x units, well, we would have to double that to get the entire width. Um, the height of the rectangle, since that's y, uh, we'll just simply multiply by y. So we've got to double the x, but only multiply by the height, y. So that's going to be the area of our rectangle. So again, now we're simply just trying to uh, represent x and y in terms of theta. Well, we can say cosine of theta. So cosine is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. And if we multiply both sides by 5, we'll just get that 5 cosine theta equals x. Likewise, we can say that sine of theta, sine is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, so y over 5. And we can multiply both sides by 5 and get 5 sine theta equals y. And now we're basically in business. We just have to, you know, fill in this, this formula up here. So it says we've got 1 half times pi times 5 squared, which is going to be 25, minus the area of the rectangle, which is going to be 2 times x times y. But x, again, is just 5 cosine theta. Um, y is just 5 sine theta. And now we've got our expression. So maybe we can uh, clean this up a little bit. This would be 25 pi over 2, our first term, minus, let's see, we would get, uh, let's see, 5 times 5 is 25, times 2 uh, will be 50, so we'll end up with a negative 50 cosine theta times sine theta. And now we do have uh, an expression that tells us exactly that, uh, that th the, the value of that shaded area, all in terms of our angle theta.